Hey guys, so I put out a video showing you in the equipment that I use to record my DJ routines. And I decided to take it a step further and show you the editing process that I go through using Final Cut. Now, I'm going to be making a small routine that I'm going to edit within Final Cut and show you step by step what I do. So that way you can export it and post it onto social media. So hopefully this helps you out into stepping up your DJ recording game just a step higher. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to take is to record the DJ routine. So before we get started, I like to do a little bit of a clap sync. That way it makes it easier to line up both the audio and the video. That way I can sync them up together and both my movements and the sound go together. Like this. Now, you got to get the routine started. So now that we have both our video and audio recorded and imported into our computer, we're going to go ahead and start a new project in Final Cut Pro. I have DJ Routine as a project, and I have the clip of the audio and the video imported into Final Cut already. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving things into our timeline, which is this right here. Now it may seem confusing at first, and you can use other alternative programs like Sony Vegas, or iMovie, which has more of a simpler layout, but I just personally like Final Cut a little bit better. So let's get started. So right off the bat, you can kind of see that the audio and the videos sound almost lines up. So we're gonna go ahead and use that clap sync that we did earlier, so that way we can sync both the audio and the video together. Just to make it easier, I like to turn down one of the audio sources and then line them up with the other waveform. So as you can tell, our clap is somewhere around here. Now I'm going to turn up the other audio source and try to match them together. Okay, so here's the clap and here's the clap from the audio recorder. Let's try to sync them up. All right, so that's pretty close, but we're going to go in closer and try to see how tight we can get it. All right, so that seems to be really, really close. And in fact, it is. So now we're going to zoom out and see how close it is. And the video, that way I can see them up together, and both my movements and the sound go together, like this. Now, we got to get the routine started. All right, so that seems like it's really, really close. Now, a few milliseconds will make a major difference, but again, we try to see how close we can get it. That way, both the audio from the recorder and the audio from the video sync up. That way, the movements go along together. Now that it's aligned, we have a very large file. These are from all the tries that I did on the DJ routine. Some were good, some were all right, and one was really good. It's up to you which one you want to go ahead and cut out and edit from there. Now, me personally, I'm going to go ahead and find the best one I can and then go on to that one and edit it just a little bit more. So now that I detach the audio from the video, I have three sources. The audio from the video, the audio from the recorder, and the video with no sound. Now, when I started recording, I did make a couple of audio notes on here of knowing which try was the better one. So I'm going to go in and listen into it and see which one it was. So it's this one right here. Now I can get rid of these and these as well. And then the audio from the audio recorder, I can get rid of it as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. All right, so this seems to be the final cut of the edit. We have a good beginning and a good end. Now it's up to you if you want to add some fancy stuff like your logo or some effects of either fading in and fading out at the end. But for the time being, I'm going to show you the end result. This is what it looks like.
Okay guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And don't forget to subscribe onto my YouTube channel as I will be putting more DJ content over there. So until the next video, I'll see you guys. Oh, and again, if you guys have any questions or need any help, go ahead and comment below.